Whoa, I cannot believe I'm doing this. My first video tutorial. All thanks to one very stubborn guy that just won't give up. Literally. Too stubborn to give up. What's wrong with you? No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, many people have been asking me uh, to make a video, or to prove somehow that I made uh, the Bite to Break Skin video with Windows Movie Maker. Well, this is it. I'm gonna prove it. And, uh, I hope I, I hope I'm believable. I'm not, not saying that I'm lying, I'm not, because I'm gonna prove it right now. <clears throat> so, by the way, it's me, Grand Closing. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, watch my videos, rate, comment, the usual. Don't want to bother you with that much. Okay. Here is where all the magic happens. This is really an amazing site. This is where I get it all. Uh, WindowsMovieMakers.net slash forums. Um, it's very useful. It basically gives you all tips, pointers, and help on all the basic stuff. Then you get into the extra custom uh, effects and transitions and everything. Then you discuss other software and pretty much everything else. I have XP, by the way. Um, and here is where you have it. Uh, I strongly suggest making an account here because it's a very good site. So you can just search for an effect that you want specifically. The, for this video, we'll use blue screen. And here we go. So here's an introduction to XMLs. This code that you see right here is an XML. It's what carries your uh, effect or transition, whatever you want. And uh, you have to save it a special way in order to have it on Windows Movie Maker. Now what you do is you copy and paste it into Notepad. Um, Notepad, you can find that going to Start, All Programs, Accessories, and it should be there. Now pay attention right now because it, it matters how you save this. You go to File, Save As, and you have to save it as the name of your effect. So let's just say it's Blue Screen. And then you click dot .xm, oh, .xml. If you don't save it as an XML, it won't work. It'll be just a text document. Now you save it in um, a special folder. If you don't already have it, you're going to have to make it. But you go to your C drive, Program Files. Then you go to Movie Maker, Shared. Add-on TFX. If you don't have this add-on TFX folder, you can easily just make it by clicking a uh, new folder and just name it add-on TFX. Name it add-on TFX. Okay. Click here, go on all files, and see I have a lot of XMLs here. And then you just save it. Now what you will come up with is an effect. And a really cool one, hopefully. Um, basically, to give you an overview of what my Windows Movie Maker looks like, here it is. Um, I have a whole bunch of effects and stuff. Some of them are exactly the same as the others. Um, they just have a different name. Transitions, same thing. A lot of them. <laughs> uh, if you're jealous, don't be, because th the whole point of this is for you to get that, too. Uh, so, I'm going to help prove that I did make that video with Windows Movie Maker. Um, let's begin. Here's that main effect that people are really bugged about. Uh, no. Windows Movie Maker cannot mask. Of course not. It's a free program, it's wimpy, it's glitchy, and it just sucks. But, um, uh, the blue screen is actually a transition, and, uh, what you would have to do is have a blue background on it, and make it look like it's being masked. It's really just like the chroma key on, uh, other programs. And here's what I was actually, what I actually had to do. If you look over here, um, everything has a blue background. And this process is actually very, very long and annoying. Uh, for this, you'll need another program called Paint.net. And it's similar to Paint, Microsoft Paint, but a lot better. In Microsoft Paint, it would scale the image down and make it tiny. Um, I found that out, and to find it, you can just Google paint.net and download it, it's free. And basically what you would have to do is take the paintbrush or whatever, uh, select blue, and outline your uh, picture, like this. Trust me, this takes so long, especially when you're doing a video. 
I'm not gonna do it right now for you, but... And then eventually you would make this blue, and then that's the blue background. And, uh, everything. Don't save. And it'll come up like this. Uh, you would actually have to take snapshots of each frame. Um, you have this little button right here, it means make a pic take a picture. You take a picture, save it to, a uh, folder, and then you have it. Um, let's zoom in here. I haven't used this program in such a long time, it's so weird. <clears throat> and then that's what you would get. And then, when you have that, you can take another video, let's say an actual scene from my AMV, and I'd move it to the other side. Let's zoom out. Now, the video, the part that you want on top, you want this showing, should be next, the second thing. You go over it as much as you can, and then you go to your transitions. Let's get find that. Blue screen. You put the blue screen on top, and here you have it. You basically masked. Now here's a good example, actually. It's on the background of that Fight to Break Skin video. Let's make this bigger. And you see, you have this masked. Ooh, I just masked in uh, Windows Movie Maker. <coughs> that's really all that's to, that's to it, really. Um, it did take a long time to learn this, though, and get it perfect and it does take a long time to make because you have to actually take pictures of each frame and then edit it in paint.net uh, if you have the patience for that go ahead do it by all means make an awesome AMV with uh, Windows Movie Maker you can do it so if this isn't if oh wow if this isn't proof enough proof enough how about um, color ne negative filter it's ba it just basically makes everything negative here. Um, and then you have, okay, a lot of blurs and stuff. And then you have, uh, the panning. Zoom fast in. It basically zooms very fast into the video. And then, let's see, another effect that I used a lot. Um, you have, okay, these crop effects they're really awesome I like it sometimes I use it really fast to make it look actiony TV looking effect that people keep saying I use um, in Sony Vegas wavy distortion that's that thing it makes it look all wavy and deformed I use that in, com in combination with something called scan lines and that I can't seem to find scan lines and that gives it like a TV sort of effect. So if that isn't proof enough, I don't know what is. Um, if there's a specific part that you're wondering how I made, just comment on this video and ask me. I'll answer it quickly. I don't know if I'm going to make any more tutorials. Depends if I get good feedback from this one. And I think I've covered everything I wanted to so far. Uh, you would need basic knowledge of Windows Movie Maker for uh, this kind of stuff so if you don't have any idea of what I've just done um, brush up on your skills of Windows Movie Maker and come back to this video okay thank you goodbye